All right, hello everyone, Rob here, ScrappyDoo.com, and I'm joined by my son here. Corbin. And we are doing another uh, chalk uh, video. Uh, again, if you guys want to uh, get any of these products and stuff, uh, like I said, so easy, the kids can even do it, ScrappyDoo.com slash chalk will take you right to the store, all right? So let's go ahead, let's start talking about what we're going to be doing today, right, Corbin? Mm. So um, what, do, what do we have here? We have pumpkin pie, kiwi, storm, and great. Soda. Grape, Grape soda. soda. Yeah, so those are those are the colors that we, we chose here. Uh, the transfer is Happy Halloween, you know, with Halloween right around the corner here. And uh, we're, we're putting it on this chalkboard right here. Okay, so we have the uh, we have the canisters open. Uh, one of the techniques that we're going to be using today here is a, is a method called what, Corbin? Uh, hot mess. Hot mess, hot mess. And it's uh, pretty fun. To do uh, and you, you can really just have fun with it you'll see here but uh, you know because it's called hot mess we also coined that as a uh, as baby sister right because sometimes when she wakes up in the morning she looks like a what a hot mess right so anyways yeah. anyways let's go ahead uh, and, and get started here we're gonna take the transfer off um, here so let's go ahead and we'll clear the board so what we have to do with every single transfer is we have to go ahead and fuzz it. And what we're doing is uh, th these brand new transfers, they're very sticky. You don't want to have a, a residue on your board left over. So that's what we're doing is we're, we're putting it on a, on a towel here. Uh, it, you know, you don't want a towel with a lot of fibers on it. But anyways, we're just trying to uh, make sure that this transfer is not as sticky as it, as it needs to be. Uh, like I said, the, it is very super sticky. So we're just going to do this about, you know, five times and it should be good enough for uh, what we need it to do. All right. So that is the fuzzing process of the transfer. All right. So we got the board out. We got the transfer. We're getting ready to place it right there on the on the board straightly yeah nice and straight and in the in the center yes now uh, again what we're trying to do here is we're trying to make sure that when we're placing this transfer down uh, you know we're going to be pushing out what oh the air bubbles yeah and you're, you're going to see some air bubbles with this and, and again we're just trying to make sure it's all nice yeah. and straight yeah, nice and straight and flat and um, one of the things that you're going to want to do is you have all these inside shapes, right? Yes. And we want to go ahead and make sure that the inside shapes are what? Um, push down. Yeah, because if we don't do that, that means the chalk is going to seep through, through yeah. the, yeah. Um, through th through the through transfer. Yeah, through the transfer, right underneath. Like, for example, those eyes that are there, uh, you know, the mouth, anything on the inside of the words. So, uh, again, that's what we're trying to do. We're, we're pushing those down, making sure that they're sticking right there to the chalkboard. All right. So that is how we're placing the, the transfer there on the chalkboard. And then we're going to get ready to, uh, to chalk this up using the hot mess method. All right. All right, so here's some of the things that uh, we, we need to do. We already got the transfer right there on the chalkboard where we need it. Uh, the, the next part here, um, you, you know, again, you're going to want to have some baby wipes on hand. Okay. Uh, you're going to want to have some squeegee on hand. Okay. And then uh, you're also going to need your finger on hand, right? Where's your yeah. finger? Okay. Yep. All right. So the, the concept is you, you pick one color at a time. Okay, so you, you got your finger, you, you scoop up one color, and you're going to go ahead and plop it down and not do anything. Just put a little blob, right? And uh, you, know, you just do that every so often there, and then we're going to be swirling it in later and mixing the colors and stuff. All right. So for this, Corbin, what did we sort of decide to come up um, with? We decided to do um, grape soda and kiwi on Happy and the Pumpkin, and we chose to do... Um, storm and pumpkin pie on Halloween. Okay, all right. So yeah, yeah. Again, this uh, this project should be nice and fun for the kids to do. And so I'm just gonna let Corbin uh, knock this part out by just doing the blobs and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. all right stop. All right. So what we're doing here is we're working with how many colors at a time? Um, one. Yeah, one color at a time. So. Uh, essentially, he's just putting dots uh, every so often uh, on the happy, and then we're going to move on to the bumpkin. And again, uh, you know, you want to have that baby wipe handy, right? Yes. 
important. Yes, because you don't want to accidentally dip your hand in the green and yes. then wipe your without wiping your hand and dipping it in the purple. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now we're we're really not worried about the the paint or anything drying right now, just because it's so what thick. Yeah, so thick. Um, we will get a little bit worried if it was nice and you know if we were using that squeegee and scraping the stuff and getting it thin. Uh, obviously, right now because it is thicker, we're not too worried about uh, you know, it drying on us. Yeah. Okay. So again, you can see him uh, just randomly putting these dots everywhere. Mm-hmm. And uh, pretty soon here, we're going to go ahead and uh, once we have this pretty well covered uh, with like little dots, um, we're going to go ahead and start the swirling effect. Right, Corbin? Yeah. All right, so uh, what we're doing here is we're, we picked the first color, which is... Um, orange. Yeah, and we're, we're just focusing on one color at a time. Again, we're just swirling, swirling, swirling. Now, we're not looking to be any kind of Picasso or anything, right? Yeah. You know who Picasso is? Yes. Who is he? A famous artist. Okay, good. Now, <laughs> now we're going to go ahead and, again, we're, we're just, you know, putting the swirls in, you know, focusing on one color at a time, and then we're going to let the squeegee here coming up uh, be our blending, uh, where we're blending the paints. So with this, uh, we're not doing large swipes, right? Yeah. yeah we're, we're just doing small... Ws. Small swipes, yeah, like Ws. Um, and, and again, uh, as soon as we do a swipe, we're wiping it off with a baby wipe, right? Yes. Because again, we don't want to cross contaminate mm -hmm. or anything, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, Corbin did this entire thing here all by himself. And then we're, we're going to see the uh, the final reveal here. But uh, one of the things that you want to make sure is that you've got every little thing covered, Corbin. right, Corbin? Yes. Because uh, if you don't, that means it doesn't have paint on it. And if yeah. you do the final reveal, it's going to be not there. It's going to yeah. be naked. So anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and do the reveal here. Here it is. All right, so we, we finished the project and everything. Uh, you, you can take a look at it. Go ahead and show us the overhead shot, Corbin, of the final product. So uh, pretty, pretty neat on what we can do here. I mean, now the stuff that you see over here and stuff, that was from the transfer. I mean, it's meant to look a little bit grungy, a little bit old fashioned, mm -hmm. but uh, did, you, did you have a good time using it, Corbin? Yeah. Yeah, so again, just a, just a little bit of swirling, uh, some squeegeeing, some baby wipes, and you can have yourself a hot mess, or like I said, our baby sister, right? No. Baby sister. Yep. No. She She's a hot mess. Hot no, mess. she isn't. She is. No, she uh, isn't. He just doesn't want to get in trouble with mom. No, no. Yes, I promise. But anyways, no. hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing. If you guys want to uh, get into this, again, uh, scrappydoo.com slash chalk will take you to the store. And if you want to uh, you know, join the Chalk Couture culture there uh, make sure you click the join button and you can you can do some of this neat stuff as well and plus you get 40% off discounts and stuff so yeah lots of neat stuff with this all right so thanks for watching bye, bye.